Welcome to your Dick Hunter, I'm Connor, and welcome back to part two of Sally Face. Sorry. This is part two of Sally Face. So if you watched part one, which we did chapter the full game of chapter one, uh, then you should go watch that because uh, or, uh, you'll get spoiled for that. Um, anyways, y'all back? Alright, uh, so in the last episode, uh, we met Sal and, uh, and his friend, his new friend, oh, sorry, hold on. Sal, uh, Sal moved into his apartment after his past where his mother died or something. They haven't really explained that. Uh, and he has a prosthetic mask. Well, and, uh, yeah, um, and, yeah, um, and we got to meet, so, well, so they moved into these new apartments and then he met, his, uh, he met a new friend, Larry, and then, uh, basically all that shit wall happened. We got a guy arrested in the apartments for murder. Uh, he apparently was, uh, he was innocent, uh, and, uh, also apparently all, that past was just like a therapy session, and, because apparently Sal's going to trial for murder. Uh, so let's go ahead, though, let's see, 60%, we completed it, though. We probably missed something, that's probably all. Uh, anyways, so let's go to episode two, here we go, episode two. We have the Wretched, I'll start. Start episode two, start, start a new game episode two, yes. Here we go, let's do this. Music fades out. Also, the music was great, though, again. Sal? Sally, where are you? Who's calling your name? Oh, oh it's us younger. Oh, but we had a face. Well, I'm sure he has a face. It's just he's not wearing a mask. Well, this is a nice environment. <gasps> is this our mother? Don't wander so far, sweetie. I want to see the doggy, Mom. Can't you hear him? Why don't you wait until your father gets here, okay? He should be here any minute now. But I really want to see it. Please. Please, can I go get the doggy? Can I go pet the doggy? All right, Sal. Just give me a second to get my purse. Then we can go together. Yay, I'll wait over there by the trees. All right, Mom, we'll go wait over there by the trees. Okay, so so far, this must show what happened to his mother. So he's gonna go pet the dog. He, I guess the dog that we saw in his dream, but it said the dog buried her. What does that mean? Does that mean the dog or something? There was the dog thing peeking in the woods. I think that was it. I don't know. Oh, his face is bleeding. What happened back there? What's going on? What is going on? His face is bleeding. Understand. There's bones everywhere on the blood. Ambulance. Enter. What's going on? Uh, here you are? Okay. Thank you so much for coming to help me with the toilet. What? Oh, this is the lady that died. But. Larry helped her with the toilet. Not us. Huh? No problem, Miss Anderson. I held all that unclogged in no time. Wonderful. Herman normally would have taken care of himself, but unfortunately his fingers have turned into banana peels. And the street corner is just so dangerous. I understand. Thank you so much, Larry. The bathroom is just over there. So we're playing as Larry, but then yet we're Sal? I don't quite understand that. But alright, uh, there's the bathroom. Alright, so I guess we gotta unclog the toilet. Weird. Oh. Uh, Uh, here we are. That's a Jack Sabbath guy reference because that's the uh, y'all can't see it. Hold on. Can y'all see it now? It's Jack Sabbath guy's eyeball right there. Um. Yeah. So I think Jack Sabbath guy did play this game when it first came out. So that's cool though that they referenced it in the game. Yeah, that's cool. Hold on, guys. camera back. Alright, there you guys. Alright, that's cool though that they added that little Easter egg. Uh, can we climb up? No, not yet. Let's continue over here first. What's that thing? Pony. You there. Please. Help me. What's wrong? The water is stopped. I'm so thirsty. 
Don't worry, I know how to fix this. Please, hurry. All right, well, I'll go as fast as I can. Uh, three. Uh, is this a minute order? Because that's three. Switch it on it, so. Do you have to, like, continue on? Yeah, we can come up here. Um, one. Oh, that was correct. Yeah, there's one in there. All right, I think yeah, that's a let's be the order. Um, yeah. Come on, continue there. You, there you go. All right, climb on, climb down, and now we gotta hit this one. Yeah, there you go. All right, it worked. So now let's go back and uh, see if it helps the pony. Oh, no, that's what it is now. What does the eyeball look like now? Did it, uh, funny? Uh, it's floated to the top. Guys, you can see it. I don't have them on my camera. You can see it's floated to the top now, right above my head. That's cool. I still think that's cool to the end of that detail. Uh, any lines? Uh, no! That poor pony, man. Is that supposed to be like the glitter, the glitter ponies that we saw in the last one? And this one's called glitter ponies? I'm not sure. Uh, I think that's what it is supposed to be, though. Here we are. We're back in the bathroom now. So look. Let's just leave. So if it wasn't Charlie, then who did it? Oh, nice footsteps. Alright. Uh, I guess we're gonna follow the murderer then. Oh, it's leading off the map. Pretty sure there's some kind of dream though. That was Larry though, who was supposed to do that, but we're playing as Sal, so. The, uh, Sal, come, Sal, come closer. I have something to show you. So he's the killer then? What? What is going on? I don't understand this. Uh. I know you touched my pony. I thought you were on French shell. We were French shell. Oh, it's dream. Uh, and our face is shattered out though, so you can't see it. So he does take off his mask when he sleeps, though, and then he puts it back on. Let's go to Episode 2 The Wretched. Interesting. So that was a dream, though. That was just a dream. Alright. What is it? Man, you're still having these nightmares. I haven't had this bad, them this bad since right after my mom died. Or I think it's this building. There's something off about it. Dude, I know you're so insistent about it, but I really don't think this place is haunted. I've been here for most of my life, and I hadn't seen any ghosts. But. But what? Well, we've known each other for a while now. I have to show you something. Come on. Alright, hold on, like. Is that supposed to be Frankenstein in the painting, or who is that? What is that? I don't know. It looks like that Frankenstein poster, though. Uh, talk. Ready? Yeah, let's go outside now. I'm guessing that's where it was, but it said go outside. Oh, here we are. Uh, we're wearing little gloves and earmuffs, and he has his hood up. That is a cool detail. He's wearing his hoodie and his hood up. I like that detail, yes. Whoa, how come you've never told me about this? It's where I go when I need to be alone. It's my fortress of solitude. A tree house. That's cool. Awesome. I always wanted a tree house. I always thought they were cool. Uh, let's climb up. I really like the mood of this game and the environment. Oh, that was pretty with the snow. I absolutely love that. Sorry. This is so cool. I've always wanted a tree house when I was younger. Me too. Samesies. Also, I'm wearing pigtails today, guys. Kind of like Salas. It's not all exact, but it's similar. It's very similar. Uh, yeah, my dad built those for me when he disappeared. Wait, what? What do you mean disappeared? One day he was here and everything was okay, and the next day he was just gone. No, 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 no. And all of his things are still here. His clothes, his tool, his wallet, his like, driver's license, everything. He just disappeared. Man, I'm so sorry, Larry. I know how hard this is. Did your parents not get along? No, my parents loved each other. They had hardly ever, ever even fought or anything. It isn't what it sounds like. My dad didn't leave us. Even if that's what my mom chooses to believe. I know he would never leave us like that. He loved us. I believe you. So, what do you think happened to him? Look, you know I'm not generally superstitious. And I know you and Chuck swear that the apartment was ha are haunted, but... Well, I think it's something else. Like what? I haven't told many people about this, but I know I can trust you, Sal. I know you won't judge me. 
Of course not. The day before he disappeared, I did something I'm not too proud of. My parents got me some firecrackers and they and they told me so many times to wait for them, not to play with them on my own, but I just couldn't resist, dude. I let a few out back and one ended up in Miss Gibson's window. I killed her pet rabbit. <sighs> oh man, that's rough. Yeah, so I ran to check on Miss Gibson Gibson and when she was screaming at me like crazy, as if I needed another reason as if I needed another reason to be mad. That old bag. I felt horrible though. That poor bunny. Anyways, as I was coming down in the elevator, that's when I saw the demon. He reached down and touched me. I got the super cold chill down my whole body. I was scared, dude. I thought I was losing my mind. He was gone as quick as he came, just as the door op doors opened. He cursed me because of what I did. He cursed me. Everything in my life was bad after that. My dad disappeared. My mom stopped talking for a while. I had to spend two weeks in juvie for accidentally killing that rabbit. My bike got stolen. I missed so much school I had to take summer classes. I spent one bad thing after the next. Ever since then, horrible things have happened to me or around me. So do you think this curse took away your dad? I know how it sounds, but I know it's true. It's all my fault. My dad, the rabbit, Miss Anderson, everything. Whoa, hold on, man. Even if there's some kind of curse on you, you can't blame everything. You can't blame yourself for everything bad that happens. Mm -hmm. It's not all your fault. What did this demon look like? I was like nothing I've ever seen before. It was like a moving shadow, all black and misty, had the, but had the firm form of a man. And the eyes were the worst part, these deep red eyes that pierced right through you. We saw that in the beginning of the game when we went in Larry's kitchen. We saw that. Man. What? I've seen it too. I've seen your demon. No way, when? I swear, I've seen it in the building, just like you described. I bet it's linked to the other ghosts too. I don't know, dude. What if we break this curse of yours? How would we do that? Maybe there are some clues around here that could help. We can try to find out more about the ghosts, see if we can get to the bottom of this. Sure, why not? I've got nothing to lose. All right, yeah, man. Hey, mind if I, uh, uh, wait, hold on. Uh, my mom didn't want any of this dead stuff for the house. I brought everything out here for when he comes back. All right, uh, I'll talk. Take sure. Oh, we're getting, that, huh, that's strange. What is it? message is getting I found this weird gear boy cartridge in the lost and found box in a while ago. I think it reacts to supernatural activity. That was one of the lost pictures that we took together not long before he disappeared. Hmm, I better keep looking. Alright, uh cabinet. Let's check the cabinet. Nothing useful in here. Alright, how about the chest? Let's see, uh nature's life. A bunch of nature and outdoorsy magazines. Seems like Delaria's dad is the opposite of my dad. The magazines are all old from six years ago or more. Doesn't look like anything too useful enough. Let's see what else is in here. A, wo a worn leather jacket. There's a couple of old concert tickets in the pocket. I guess that's where Laurie gets his taste in music. Seems like a nice way to bond. I don't think I've ever watched a concert on TV with, uh, on TV with my dad, let alone go on live. live. Here we go. No, that's the last one. Uh, there's some kind of weird small box in here. Looks like it's sealed shut. Uh, let's take it. What's in the box? I have no idea, man. It belonged to my dad. It's some kind of puzzle box. Never could figure out how to open it, though. Looks like there's a piece, piece missing. Oh, yeah, you're right. Never noticed that before. Do you mind if I hold on to this? Nah, go ahead. Go. Cool. Okay, let's, uh, let, just let me know if you get it open. Of course. Let's look at it. Uh, a puzzle box that belonged to Larry's dad's piece missing, so I can't open it right now. Alright, uh, clear the walkie talkie in the car, so it's the same stuff. Alright, uh, I think we're good right now. Uh, yeah, I noticed that. Well, let me know if there's anything you need. Thanks, Sally. Uh, hey, you want to rock out, though? Here we go. Did you ever take that new Sandy Fall song? Yeah, man, you want to hear it? Yeah. Let's rock out right now. Yeah. Rock out right now, man. Rock out, man. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna leave, man. Bye. I should ask Megan if she knows anything about this demon. I hope she'll come out today. Megan? Who's Megan? 
Oh, that's cool to have a picture with all three of us. That's cool. Extreme, uh, me. Oh. Hey, Lisa, feeling any better today? Oh, hi, Sam. I just think it might be the worst of it. Once I'm over this hump, I'll be right. Uh, I'll be right as a rain. Which is good because there's so much more work to be done. I'm just itching to get back into it. Take it easy for now and get some rest. Oh, don't you worry about me, Sal. I better stay plenty. And Larry has been so helpful, too. It'll be just fine. <clears throat> the ghost, but it's not there anymore. Okay, who? Savvy, Savvy, sorry. Still rocking out there. Visit Megan at 504. Alright, this is the fifth floor. Alright, it's his bathroom. I need to go to the bathroom right now. I need to leave. Alright, uh, so who's Megan, though? Did we. I don't get it. Oh. Um, Chug, what are you up to? Hi, Sally. Hi, Sally Face. I'm waiting for the snack guy to fill the machine. Can't stop my Saturday without chocolate. I hear you. Like to, I like to start the week off with video games and cartoons. Did you see the new uh, uh, Rocco, uh, Rico's Modern Life episode? Like, it's Rocco's Modern Life, but it's Rico's Modish Wife. Yeah, that was great. I love that show. Me too. I'm here. What's up? Can you come up to four? Five? Sure. My mom just took her medicine, so she passed out for a while. Anyways, I'll be right up. All right. Yeah, man. So, what does he want to show me? Come on. She's in the bathroom. She? Just come on. Yeah, this is where we saw the dude. I do. I'm in his papers here. Bedroom, that's border shut. That's the bedroom, sorry, not the bathroom. Uh, anyways, where'd you go, man? Uh, yeah, here, yeah, bathroom. That's where there was ham friends here, yeah. Ah, uh, these fifth floor rooms are seen better days. Shh. What? Just wait a minute. Megan, are you here? Hello? I wanted you to meet my friend, Clary. I don't think there's anything in here, dude. She might be afraid. She can be pretty shy. No, I I haven't been able to get her to come out in a while now. I hope she's okay. So you come up to this moldy bathroom to talk to a dead girl. How often do you come up here? I've been able to talk to her a few times, but like I said, she hasn't been around lately. I'm not crazy, Larry. I'm not crazy, Larry. I'm going to prove this to you. Hey, I've never said you were crazy, man. As weird as this is, I believe you. Okay, you're my best buddy. If this helps at all, at all with finding my dad, then I'm all for it. I really thought we'd be able to talk to her today. I just had this feeling. Dude, know who you should talk, uh, go talk with? Todd. He's probably the smartest kid I know, and he's also in, into the supernatural stuff like you are. I bet he could help somehow. Todd, really? Huh, I never expected that he would believe in that stuff. He always seems so normal, rational. Yeah, yeah, I guess, ha, yeah, I guess so. Okay, well, I'll go talk to him and see what I can find out. All right, I'm gonna head back downstairs to make sure my mom's all right. Let me know if you find anything. Will do. All right, let's go to Todd now. Where does Todd live? Oh, Safi, Safi, sorry. I need to talk to Todd in two of two. All right. Okay, uh, two of, oh, yep, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, uh, Todd Place. All right, here we go. Knock. Hey, Safi. I'll give him the voice until I see him. All right, nerd kid. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry it took me a minute to answer. I was wrapping up tutoring session with Ashley. Have you two met? Hey, I'm Ash. The music. You must be Sally Face. I've heard so much about you. Uh, um, me? <laughs> you have? Yeah, all good things, I swear. I'm glad I, I finally got to meet you. Me too, or you too, I mean, uh, it's nice to meet you as well. Well, I'd love to stay and chat more, but I have to get going. Thanks for helping me out today, Todd. Nope, no problem. We can work more on algebra next week. Sounds good. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully I run into you again soon, Sally Face. Yeah, that, that, that'd be awesome. Enjoy the weekend, boys. You too. You all right, Sal? You seem a bit anxious. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm cool. <laughs> okay, so what brings you this way? Ash seems nice. Is she a freshman too? What is she like? Her full name is Ashley Campbell. She's a freshman like us and an overall nice person. 
She has some trouble with math, so I've been tutoring her for the past couple of weeks. In exchange, she occasionally assists with me with my art assignments. She sounds like a great friend. Hold on. So, Sal's a boy. So, he has... With me, even as a girl, but still. But, I think... I sound like Sal has a little bit of a crush on Ash. But, sure, I suppose. You didn't come here to talk about Ashley, though. What's up? Oh, right. Do you believe in ghosts? I believe in paranormal occurrences and the possibility of consciousness enduring beyond death. Why the hesitation? Just by having witnessed unexplainable phenomena firsthand, I would acquire con concrete evidence to declare without with certainty that I believe in ghosts, though I do find the subject to be quite fascinating. That makes sense. Um, I see the thing. Are you referring to Miss Anderson? No, it's something else. This pulling is haunted, and I'm trying to find out more about the ghosts here. Ah, uh, I see. I need your help. Thank you for telling me your story. I thought I might just be some kind of assistance with the explanation of, paranor of the paranormal. That was quick, man. <laughs> I know it was a black cat scream because it took a lot of but still. Kidding. Spe uh, specifically, I have a suspicion that an apparition resides in my bathroom. Huh, really? Yes, it does seem to be strange coincidence that your Megan and my apparition are both found in bathrooms. However, it could also be that the water pipes act as some sort of conductor for them, though this is only speculation on my part. Do you have the Gear Boy cartridge with you now? Yeah. Perfect. Let's go check out the bathroom. What do you usually do to call upon Megan? Does the Gear Boy always light up when she's near? It does light up every time. Usually, It doesn't light up every time. Usually, I just start talking to her. Sometimes she comes out, sometimes she doesn't. Okay, so go ahead and try the same thing here so you can attempt to summon the spirit. Here is anyone... Uh, hello, is anyone here with us? We're not going to hurt you. We're your friends. Hello? Is anyone there? Nothing is happening, and the game isn't lighting up either. Hmm, I have an idea. Let me see that. I bet I can modify your gear boy to help better detect supernatural hot spots. Cool, sounds good to me. I'll need two things in order to complete the alteration. First, I'll need something to amplify the device's reception, and second, something to boost its electrical output. So, like an antenna and a battery pack? Sure, I'll play in my room once you're ready. Alrighty, so now we need to find that stuff. So where will we find that? So find Gear Boy uh, upgrades. Bob. I like a fish. That's Bob. He's okay. My parents insisted that I need more nature in my life to counterbalance all this technology, as they put it. This one here is central. This one should power. Card. Although the key card does have a magnetic strip, I'm afraid this won't work for what we need. Hmm, that antenna is a bit too small for our purposes. Close box. That's an interesting box, but we'll need something larger and much thinner. Okay. Uh, will this work for the uh, key card? Although the card does have a magnetic strip, I'm afraid that won't work for what we need. Close box. That's an interesting box. We'll need something. Okay, uh, there you go. Walkie talkie. Yes, the battery from your walkie talkie will work perfectly. Good thinking, Sally Face. I'll be right back. Good thinking, Sally Face. Compared to that place. My operations and possibly, and possibly other supernatural elements as well. Okay, I think I get the gist of it. I suggest that we take it for a test run in my bathroom. Sounds good. I didn't even get to look at the thing. Whenever you're ready, hold up the super gear boy by pressing Y. Hold on, let me look at it though. Todd modified my gear boy to detect supernatural hotspots. You can use it by pressing Y and activate it. Alright. Y and R. Here we go. Let's see. It works. Alright. <laughs> Maybe I. It worked! Wow. Hello, what's the matter? I never thought he'd kill me. It's all my fault. Who? Stacy and her daughter. 
Oh god, what a fool I was to fall for a married woman. It's never a crime to follow your heart. You must be a romantic like I was. It's kind of you to say, but I know better than that. We want to help you. Why haven't you left this place? We can never leave. What do you mean? You can't pass on? What's keeping you here? Have you seen the demon with red eyes? Can you tell us anything? No, no, no. What? What is it? He's here. Who? The red-eyed man? The one who killed Stacy and her daughter? I have to go. I'm sorry. <laughs> Taz with wide eyes. Oh, the spirit was in the mirror. The spirit was in the mirror. That was fully formed in con unconscious apartheid. I've never seen anything like that. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. It's just one thing to read about the paranormal and formal theories and a whole other thing to actually experience it. I know what you mean. It's a lot to take in. Well, well, we have some well, we have some work to do. I think I'm finally in a full a fill of excitement for today, so I'll stay here and do some research. I want to look into the history of Addis Apartments to see if I can find anything about past residents and about the supposed murders. That'd be really helpful. Why do you, while you do that, I'm gonna search for more supernatural hotspots. Perfect. Oh, and by the way, I noticed some extraordinary static around the game cartridge. You might want to check out to make sure it's okay. Play? We're playing. Uh, I'm seeking... He knew not why he was drawn to this place, yet he could not prevent his feet from treading the dirt path before him. Perhaps it was simply curiosity, or perhaps it was destiny. Uh, well, we can't play chapter one, but can we can enter. Oh, this is sorry. Talk. Sorry, members only. So we can't go here. What about here? It sounds like somebody's going uh, crying. I better go check in to make sure they're okay. Uh, you have to find the right room. All these rooms look the same. All these rooms look the same. We have all the cards. Getting it wrong? Well, it goes on this place. It keeps me up at night. I'm beginning to fear for mine and my daughter's safety. I've tried to reason with them. I've reached my wit's end. I understand I lost my family last year in the big factory fire. It breaks my heart to see a kind, to see a kind lady such as yourself so broken up. I'd like to help however I can. You just need to tell me what you need. That's a wonderful, that's awful kind of you, my, Mr. Mon Montague. I'm dearly sorry about your family. Please call me Greg. Pleasure to meet you, Greg. I'm Stacy Holmes. You couldn't have come along as a, a better timing. You must be an angel. Just a humble farmer that's glad to be helpful to nice folk like you. The pleasure is all mine. Yeah. Uh, that's all we can play right now, so uh, yeah, let's, let's quit. That was cool. That was like a little mini game sequence. So it looks like we can play chapters later on, more chapters later on. Alright, start with the kitchen. Uh, see if we can find anything right over here. Oh, it's not enough yet. We had to find out when it lights up. Whoa! What the? Oh. Uh, now I can play? Play? Oh, my controller batteries are low. I'll switch it out in a minute. We might end the video before. Um. Uh, let's do uh, uh, chapter 6. A young occultist found herself tangled in the bowels of the castle, searching for the final components the council required. Okay, it's basically you gotta dodge this. It's like a little uh, game. Uh, I'm going in the middle there. Ah! Yeah. Uh, no, they restarted me! <laughs> are there spikes? Why are there spikes? Too far up. They go to where they're safe. Right, this part's a little easier. I don't know if we're supposed to go up or not, though. That's the thing. Alright. Oh, that was a close one. Alright, let's go up from here. Alright, come on. 
of down here. Whoa, okay. Close, close, super close. Okay, it just let us back to where we were. So it's basically like a little maze then. We have to find out where this is. What happens if we go down though? What I think we've got to go up now, I think, right? Yeah, we got to go up now and follow on a different path. No, we got to go up. Continue going up. Yes, found it. Yes, okay, we did it. Now, I have retrieved the remaining assets. Very good. The preparations are now complete. Stay within the circle while we perform the summoning. I understand. So were we like a sacrifice then? Since, well, all right, now we gotta quit now. Interesting. All right, uh, let's go to Larry's uh, treehouse real quick, and then I think we'll end the video. Uh, with that, uh, yeah, man, hey. All right, uh, let's go to Larry's treehouse now. Let's see what we can find. Climb up. All right, here we go. Um, so what's gonna be up here? Are we gonna, can we use the thing here? Yeah, here we are. All right, let's use it. Um, okay, we found another one. What was that? Sal? Who are you? Are you Jim Johnson? No. These are Sal and CTV. Oh, we live. And I. You're breaking up. I can't quite hear you. I'm sorry. I haven't have much time. I'm sorry. I don't have much time. Just remember the red Ted. Red Ted. Y'all. You. I don't know what to see. Remember the red ball. Red ball. What do you mean? What are you? Go to no the red the fridge and the red ball. Oh, uh, there's another game. I just thought uh, I uh, just when I thought I was getting used to seeing ghosts, then that happens. Whatever that was. My life is weird. All right, we'll play one more mini game and then we'll pause it here. We'll pause this. Uh, we'll play this last mini game. Uh, I'll play this last mini game. Play this last mini game and then we'll pause it. Like play. I'll play this last mini game and then we'll end the video here and then we'll get the rest later on. So we gotta find eight. All right. Uh, so now we got two. So we got three out of eight. So we need about five, about four, five more, five more. Yes. And the mysterious old woman gazed up once again into Jim's eyes and said, "If you can find the door, this key unlocks. We'll share the secrets of the universe with you." Whoa, this guy's fast. Alright, unlock that. Yes. There we go. Enter. Alright, and go here. No, wrong way. Okay, it's fine. It saves, right though? Yes, it's, we're right here still, so it's fine. No, why? Oh, the thing's right there. I just noticed. It's, 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 right, it's right here. This music is cool, though. I like this one. How do we get there? We can't enter from there. We gotta go up uh, here, here. Go. Oh, we gotta go around. I just see. I see. So now. It's fine, it's fine, just go around. We gotta slide up against the edge of the wall, yes, and go down. Here. Yeah, alright, we did it. Alright, come on, let's make it back now. Come on. Alright, now we gotta go up here. Alright, there we go. 
made it. Yes. All right, what is this one now? A uh, use key? There we go. Uh, that's it. All right, uh, so now I just need chapters one, four, five, and seven and eight. All right, that's it. Uh, I think we're gonna end this video here now. Uh, so thanks for watching. I'm sorry this guy, this video was a little more short, but I promise in the next video I'll probably finish chapter two. Uh, so thanks y'all for watching. If you like this video, thumbs up and subscribe. And uh, tell me what you want me to do next. I know this is shorter than. So uh, bye.